going on YouTube? It's your boy Curtis 7 here. Now welcome to the first episode of the transfers voting. Alright guys, we got some big massive decisions to make guys. Johnny Evans has already said that he wants to leave the club in January. So to keep it realistic lads, we are not going to make a hundred changes in January. There's a lot going to be changes made in that in the summer. Hopefully by then we've got Champions League so we can allow for players to come in. And this January, lads, we will be selling two more players. So three players in all in January. So it's up to you who we go and vote. We are also going to be buying one player in January. It'll be unrealistic if we go and buy five or six players in January because that's not really that's what's going to happen. What's going to happen is in summertime when Van Hal works around his squad to see if we qualify for Champions League, Europa League or whatever we make, we will be making a lot of signings in the summer and not really in January. We haven't got really you know many matches to play left. So only one signing we are going to bring in First things first, lads, we're going to go through our squad. No one knows exactly what's going to happen, so you can't get it spot on realistic. I think the next summer is going to be the major summer. It's going to be probably be another overhaul of the club, just because hopefully by next summer we'll make Champions League, so we're going to need a bigger squad, more signings, probably, you know, get rid of the dead wood as well. First things first, lads, I'm going to go through every single player on our squad, give my opinions about the player, and I'm going to list the players we are going to be putting up for votes. So make sure you go and vote all right first player lads robin van persie not looking to sell him definitely gonna keep uh a lot of people say sell him he's worth a lot of money but that's a bit unrealistic if we were to sell robin van persie it'll probably be a few years down the track two or three so i'm not looking to sell him wilson he's got a he's a great prospect he's got high potential definitely want to keep him in uh, i want to start using him next season when he comes off loan so uh or maybe I'll put him out online just for one extra season. But definitely we'll be using him later on this career mode. Wayne Rooney, mate, he's the captain. We're not selling him. Now, Michael Keane's an interesting one. Michael Keane? No, I think it's a Will Keane. Sorry, it's his brother. I would like to keep him, but guys, his potential's not great. He's already 21 years of age. I think I might be looking to loan him next season and uh, maybe sell him the season after that. I uh, just don't think his potential's good enough. I don't think he even reaches 70, so uh, maybe I'll be looking to sell that, uh, to sell Keane, unfortunately. The next player is an interesting one. Javier Hernandez. He's on loan to Real Madrid at the minute. Uh, there's talks that he's not going to come back to United. There's talks that he is going to come back. He's just gone to Real Madrid to spark his career. Javier Hernandez is going to be the first player I put up to vote. Now, Javier Hernandez, if we do sell him, if you guys do want him to be sold, he will be sold when he comes back on loan in the summer and not in January. I hope you guys don't vote that. I'd like to use Hernandez. I think he does have a future at United. It's just whether he wants to start or not. Now, the next player, guys, is Radamel Falcao. Of course, we're not looking to uh, sell him whatsoever. We've only got him on loan, but I'm definitely, definitely looking to buy Radamel Falca Falcao in the summer. Antonio Valencia. Now, he is uh, 30 years old now. He's getting on his career. As you know, at United, we're not blessed with the best wingers in recent years. So, uh, Valencia is going to be the second player, guys, we put up to vote. Now, he's 29 years of age, his overall is 80, and he doesn't get any better than that. So it's up to you if you want Valencia as one of the two players we want out in January. Now, to another right winger, we've got Nani. Now, here's another player out on loan at Sporting Lisbon at the minute, and he is another player I'm putting up to vote because Nani... Uh, even though he's 28, I, th I still believe he can resurrect his United uh, career. I hope you guys don't vote him out, but it would be realistic if we do go on to sell him. So it's up to you guys. Nani, he does his potential does go up by a few, but we can get replacements for him as well. So I'm not too fuss. Now, Zaha... Now, talking about replacements for Nani, Zaha is a great replacement for Nani when he comes back alone. So, obviously, I'm looking to uh, play Zaha a lot more. So, uh, definitely not putting Zaha up to vote. Ashley Young, um, an interesting one. I don't think anybody's left any comments down below saying keep Ashley Young. So, of course, I'm going to put Ashley Young up to vote. If you want Ashley Young out as one of the two to vote, make sure you vote for Ashley Young. Next player is Adnan Yenizay. Of course, I'm not going to... But Adnan now is is an uh, unbelievable talent. He's on fire on this career mode, by the way. Uh, next player is Rothwell. Now he's another youth player that doesn't his overall potential is not great as well. Definitely looking to loan him out and then sell him a few seasons uh, along. 
It's just not going to cut it at Manchester United in four or five years down the track. Uh, and Herrera, not looking to sell whatsoever. Darren Fletcher. Now, here's an interesting one, uh, Darren Fletcher. Him and Carrick. Uh, a lot of people saying sell him, um, keep him, use him. Mate, Michael Carrick and Darren Fletcher, as far as I'm concerned, they're pretty much United legends. They've been for, or well, Darren Fletcher anyway, has been at United ever since the academy. Uh, Carrick come from Tottenham. But anyways, guys, they have done so much for the club. I am not selling them whatsoever. They're going to retire gracefully at Manchester United. I want to keep this a little bit realistic. I can sell them and get a few uh, extra quid, but it wouldn't be as, as realistic. So definitely Fletcher and Carrick not selling them. They're going to retire at United. Next player, guys, that's not retiring at Manchester United is Tom Cleverley. He's out on loan, and he's another player we're putting on that list. So Tom Cleverley joins the list of who you can vote to leave Manchester United. Now, another player you can leave, uh, vote to uh, who leaves Manchester United is Anderson. He's still at the club. Don't ask me how. We're, we're paying him all those wages, and you guys can vote him. If you want him as one of your two to sell in January, make sure you vote Anderson. Fellaini. Now, he's another one. He's probably the most popular player in the comment section, guys. A lot of people say sell him. A lot of people say keep him. So I'm putting Marouane Fellaini up for, to vote. Now, a lot of people saying keep him. If you want Fellaini not to go, make sure you vote other players. Now, if you want Fellaini to go, make sure you vote Fellaini. It would be realistic if we sell him, and it would be realistic if we keep him, because realistically, at the minute, he's 50-50. He's sitting on the fence. He could be sold. We could be uh, keeping him. But in saying that, he hasn't done... S uh, to be honest, he hasn't done anything at Manchester United so far in his career. Um, he's got a lot to prove to a lot of people, and if it doesn't work out with Van Hal, it would be realistic if we did sell him. you know. But likewise, it would be realistic if we keep him, and he does fight for his spot. So, uh, Fellaini is another player we go and vote for, lads. All right, Daily Blind. Mate, I'm loving Daily Blind at the minute. No chance. Uh, Nicky Powell is on loan. Mate, I can't wait to use him next season. Uh, Pereira is on loan. One matter, not for sale. Uh, Jesse Lingard, uh, not for sale. De Maria, not for sale. Vomal. Um, now, I want to talk about a lot of these uh, youth players. Vomal, Valera, um, Pereira, like that. Um, a lot of these youth players aren't... Uh, gonna cut it for us. Their potential is just gets nowhere near 70, let alone 80, and it, it's just not Manchester United quality. But if I just went and sold them all, like Tyler Blackett, you know, it would be so unre uh, unrealistic. So I'm gonna keep players like Tyler Blackett, gonna put him on loan out for a few years, and maybe, maybe, I don't think so, but <laughs> maybe their potential might grow. Who knows? But until then, lads, I'm not going to sell them. I'm just going to keep loaning them out. Luke Shaw, number one left back. I ain't selling him whatsoever. James is another one of those youngsters that could be sold or we could keep him. Uh, we've got Thorpe, another one of those youngsters. Now, Smalling's another interesting one because a lot of people say sell him and keep him, but he does have good potential and he's 25. Um... I still think he does have a future at Manchester United as a squad player, so I'm not putting Chris Smalling up to vote. Rojo, we just signed him. I like using him. He ain't going to be sold whatsoever. Michael Keane, another young defender that we're looking to loan out. I'm not looking to sell him whatsoever. Uh, Phil Jones uh, is colossal at the back. I love Phil Jones. Johnny Evans has already asked that he wants to leave the club, so Johnny Evans will be sold in January with another two players. So we are selling three players in January. Johnny Evans and two others. Unfortunately, he's come out and he said he wants to leave. Tyler Blackett, like I said, guys, his overall potential doesn't go up high whatsoever. But if we sell him now, that would be so unrealistic. So we're going to keep Tyler Blackett for a few more seasons, just loan him out here and there. And, you know, if he hits 25 uh, years old and he, he's not doing anything good, well, then we're going to push him on. Next player is Andres Lindegaard. Now, I want to get to the goalkeepers for a second. Obviously, De Gea, we're not selling. He's going to be our keeper for this whole entire career mode. But, lads, I just want to say, uh, Andres Lindegaard's 30 years old, and his potential does not get any better. And same goes with uh, Ben Amos. His uh, potential doesn't grow at all. And Johnston's uh, grows very little as well. So I'm thinking to myself, guys, we don't need four goalkeepers because we're not really going to use them. How about we sell two of the goalkeepers and bring in a goalkeeper that does have high potential and is a realistic signing as well. So, guys, it's up to you to vote which two goalkeepers we are going to to sell and which goalkeeper we're going to bring in as well.
only one signing we are gonna bring in. So I'm gonna show you who's on my shortlist and it's up to you guys who we bring into Manchester United in January. All right, that's the first player on our shortlist is Memphis Depay. We all know him. He's a world-class act. We saw him at the World Cup. We need proper wingers. We need attackers. If you voted Ashley Young and Valencia and Nani to be sold, then you might want to be voting for this guy to uh, come into the squad. Fantastic signing he would be. Next player, guys, we've got Ross Barkley. Mate, he's a midfield magician, 21 years of age. He's been linked with Manchester United forever and a day when David Moyes was at Manchester United, but he's been more linked to Manchester City. But we could potentially get him into Manchester United and, uh, mate, what a fantastic signing he would be. Now, probably the most talked about player to bring into this career mode is Kevin Strootman. Realistic signing, he is Dutch, but unfortunately he's done his knee in real life and that's why he wasn't at the World Cup and he wasn't playing much uh, last season. But Van Hal is a big fan of Kevin Strootman. If you want him in, vote him. Now his Roma counterpart in Pjanic is another player who is linked to Man United in real life. Not as heavy as Strootman, but we did play against Roma in preseason and boy did he score a cracker almost from the halfway line. And uh, yeah, man, I would love to bring him into United. Got great attributes. His passing's unbelievable. 89 uh, ball control. I would love to see him in at United. Now, another popular player, lads, is Arturo Vidal. I thought we were guaranteed to get him in the summer. It didn't end up happening. But on my career mode, he has signed for Manchester City. So I can't see him coming to Manchester United at the minute. But if you guys vote for Arturo Vidal, I will try my best to get the job done to see Arturo Vidal at Manchester United. I'd love to see that, and it would be realistic. Not from Manchester City, but realistic from Juventus. But you, you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, lads, let's get to defenders now. At centre half here, we got John Stones from Everton. He has got great potential. Real life, he's fantastic as well. If we signed him, it would be realistic. A great English talent coming to Manchester United. Could partner up with Phil Jones. He's only 20 years old. He would be a fantastic signing. Another young defender from Dortmund is Matthias Ginter. Now, Dortmund don't want Mats Hummels to go, to leave. So it would be realistic if they give us this young talent. But in saying that as well, maybe they want Ginter, Dortmund, and uh, they want to give us Mats Hummels as well. Another popular choice. Uh, so I put him up for vote, lads. So uh, if you really want Mats Hummels, uh, vote to get him in. But in saying that, guys, he is 50-50. We all know Jurgen Klopp said he's not for sale. That's why he hasn't come in so far. But I'm saying that, guys, it could potentially happen one day. So if you want Hummels, make sure you go vote to get him in. Now, another centre-back, a young centre-back, 23 years old, guys, from Real Sociedad, is uh, Inigo uh, Martinez. Now, Martinez has got great potential as well. Uh, he's a solid at the back. He's already 23, so he's already a bit more established than uh, Stones and Ginter. Uh, he would be a quality if we got him into the back. Now, on to the goalkeepers, lads. Now, remember, we're saying that we're going to sell two keepers. Well, we're going to have to replace both of those with one keeper. Now, the first one is we've got Simeone Scuffett. Now, he's got great potential, only 18 years of age. And we've got another one here, Alphonse Alerio. Uh, I think I said that. I think I probably butchered it. Alio. Aliola? Ariola. Ariola. Alphonse Ariola. I think I got that in the end. But he's 21. Great potential. Uh, he's from PSG. He's just on loan at the minute. So it's between Scuffett and uh, Ariola. They're both high potential goalkeepers at the minute with at the young age. So I wouldn't mind which one you bring in. So it's going to be interesting what decisions you guys make because at the end of the day, it's what you guys vote is what happens on this career mode. But anyways, lads, enjoy voting. Make sure you click the link in the description and vote. I'm your boy, Curtis7, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care and peace.